Are you ready for this sickness? Let's get into it! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Commerce. This is your True Keys video for January 22nd. I'm giving you a week, an advance look at what I think is gonna be hot. Um, and there's gonna be stuff with key factors in here and stuff that uh, are hot covers that I think are gonna increase in value. So if you're new to the channel, please hit that sub button, hit that like button. Um, I'm gonna include a Chaos Comics video at the end that you can watch as well as the new Convict Day preview video for 122 that shows all the books. Um, but this is the specific ones that I really think are going to be hot. This is a really, really good week. So I wanted to let you know about that. Um, what else? Tomorrow will be a um, late night with Conan O'Sick. Friday's going to be a sick-ass, rare Chaos Comic Lot auction. Uh, make don't, don't miss that. Plus a lot of va newer variants and signed books. It's going to be off the chains hook with great prizes. And then Saturday will be your preview video for the 29th or whatever. So let's get started. Remember, there's about 30 books in here. It's pretty big. But some of these are going to be like, yeah, I have to get that. So I picked the best for you. So let's go, okay? From Dynamite Comics, okay, this is a key factor kind of book, is uh, Black Terror number four. This is just the cover A. Um, possible first appearance of a new villain in, in this book, okay? Next up, from also from uh, Dynamite, we have Kiss Zombies number three. I believe this is the FOC bonus variant. If you see it in the store, probably pick it up. It's kind of like a homage cover to some old, uh, you know, pre-code horror Tales from the Crypt books. It's going to be hot. I, it, stuff like this always is. Um, next up, and like I said before, I'm going to include the Chaos video at the end, um, which shows all the covers because it's kind of like an event, is the Red Sonia Age of Chaos. Red Sonia meets all the badass characters of Chaos, besides Lady Death, of course. But uh, this cover is going to be hot. It's an Evil Ernie um, Amazing Spider-Man 300 homage cover, uh, the Chazodis FOC bonus variant. There are a lot of other good variant covers out there. That's why I'm including that video at the end so you can take a look. Um, but this one itself is going to be hot. And we also have Vampirilla number seven. I put this cover. This is the, um, I think this is one of the FOC variants. I'm not sure. It's fire, but it says Vampirilla enters the surreal world of a voodoo vampire king who becomes obsessed with winning her as a bride and newly forged team of Vampirilla's enemies. So key, new team appearance of all vamps' enemies, Vampirilla number seven. Okay, next up, from IDW, you have Kill Lock number two. I really enjoy number one. And it says the Axial, supposed to be a creator of the lock and keeper of a secret. So that's a key new appearance. And it's a good book. Now from Boom Studios, uh, this cover's gonna be hot. I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be hot. Um, Heartbeat number three, the FOC Bartel variant. So you had to get it in the final order cutoff. If you see it in your store, buy it. If it's a reasonable price, trust me. And we also have Lumberjanes number 70. Uh, I've included this because it says long held secrets are revealed about the history of the Lumberjanes, the founding of the camp and even the origins of the forest itself. So origin story, I'm not into Lumberjanes, but some of you might be, so it will be considered a key. Also we have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 47. This is the uh, 20 copy variant, it's just my favorite one. But it says the Omega Rangers are forced to return to Earth and to reveal their identities to the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So stuff's going to happen in that book. Could be a decent key to pick up. And that's a cool cover. Okay, now from Dark Horse, I wanted to call out American Gods 
Moan of Storm, number nine. This is the matte cover. I like it better. And it's basically uh, the dramatic conclusion of the award-winning American God series. Shadow says his goodbyes and makes peace with a world that has changed forever. It's a blast issue type of thing. And since it's a show, you know. Uh, from Valiant Comics, we have Roku, number four. This is my favorite cover. It's cover B. Um, they're, all the covers are good. But it says, Roku faces her sharpest enemy yet, the Minister of Blades. In the epic final battle, who lives, who dies? Key appearance, possible death, dope cover. That all equals sickness to me. Next up from Image Comics, we have American Jesus New Messiah number two. Now, you can't see any of the covers, but cover B is Scalera, which dings a bell in my head saying sick. And there's also a cover C, which is the black and white Scalera, but we don't know what it is. I'm guessing it's going to be pretty dope. So remember, America Jesus, Jesus New Messiah number two, the Scalera covers. And also from Image, Old Guard Force Multiplied number two. The reason I put this on there is because the adversary is ultimately revealed. So key, soon to be a major motion picture starring Charlize Theron. Key, the book will rise in value. The, maybe the villain will be in the movie, and this would be the key book for that, okay? Let's see, what else? From Action Lab, we have a new book called Twin Worlds Number 1. I, I, wait, this might be the cover B. I'm not sure. But it says, years ago, it's just a number one book you might want to check out. Years ago, humanity became the alien invaders when the sky was lit up by a portal to the world of Tasseroth. Fighting a medie medieval society with rich resources, the Earthers soon took advantage and occupied the, pla the planet. Today, Vin Raja, the chieftain of the Draken Nation, leads an armed assault upon an Earther outpost. He will show no mercy to other natives who have signed the Earthers. Vin Raja is the great warrior but has a dark secret, a secret that threatens to be exposed when his daughter breaks her house arrest with her mysterious twin children. It's just interesting because... A portal opens up, and we are the bad guys. We go through it, and we do whatever we do. So, next, from Ablaze Media or Studios, we have Gung Ho, number two. I enjoyed number one. I'm going to get it, but I wanted to call it these two different variant, or no, this one variant cover right here. Cover B, it's a Star Wars cover. So, it's probably going to be hot. There you go. New book also coming out, Kids Number One. Um, it's basically a zombie apocalypse story, uh, but there's two covers that I like that are homage covers. Cover B and cover C. I like them both. They're probably going to be hot, and it's a number one. Also, Mirka Andolfo's on Sacred Number Three. Now, I really like this cover. This is cover uh, C, but I think that cover D is going to be fire hot because it's an original painting homage, very famous star for, um, artist. I think it's the Klimt homage. Uh, if you can get that, get it, cover D. Uh, that's all I got to say about that. That's I'm going to be looking for that. I probably won't find it. Which really sucks. Okay, from DC Comics, we have Batgirl number 43, The Maker Has Come to Gotham. Possible new appearance? Uh, key, this is the uh, Terry Dodson variant cover. I like it a lot. Uh, just out of cover likes, I like this Batman number 87 variant cover. Pretty dope. And Batman Beyond number 40 is going to be pretty hot, I think. I like the variant cover. Who is Batman? Batwoman? It's going to be revealed who it is. Key book. We've kind of been waiting for that. Detective Comics 1019. I like the variant cover. It says, what is an axe-wielding cult leader from the 1600s doing in present-day Gotham? Find out for yourself in the conclusion of Batman's Silent Night. Could be a key. 
Also, we have Red Hood Outlaw number 42. Both covers are good. I picked the regular cover. An, an unspeakable darkness reveals itself. Might be a key. And Shazam number 10. This is the variant cover. It says the seventh member of the Shazam family is finally chosen. But can this new family come together to stop the deadly all new Monster Society? So there's a couple keys there. Superman number 19. Here's the regular cover. It says Superman, President of Earth. So I don't know if that happens or not, but it sounds like a key. And of course, Wonder Woman number 750. There's going to be variant covers. They're already all over variant covers. If you want to see all of the ones that you can get at your comic book store, watch the previous video that I'll add at the end as well, next to the Chaos one, um, that show all the Wonder Woman covers. But I specifically picked out three. Um, Comics Elite has one too. You can use my coupon code over there. It'll be at the end. You'll see it if you want to check out their uh, Wonder Woman's. But I picked out for the regular ones the 2000 variant. I think it's uh, Adam Hughes. And the 2010 variant, which is uh, Jim Lee. And there's going to be a super hot Jim Lee one. It's a 1 in 100, uh, like a pencil cover. Pretty dope. Um, that book's going to be pretty interesting. And there's probably going to be some key in it. Moving on to Marvel, I just wanted to show you a quick cover buy for me. Amazing Spider-Man 38, the Noto Marvel's X variant. Pretty dope. And Atlantis Attacks number one, new book. This is the Inyuk, or the J. Young Lee variant. The armies of Atlantis face Atlantis in a showdown destined to shake allegiances and break hearts. All the people from New Agents of Atlas uh, versus a bunch of people, plus there's going to be a tons of stuff in there. So number one, Atlantis Attacks number one. Captain Marvel number 14. This is the Inyuk Lee variant cover. I like it. The Last Avenger Part 3, Desperate Measures. It says two down, but time is running out and there are Avengers left to kill. Can Captain Marvel finish off her former friends before the clock runs down and all is lost? Conan Serpent War number four. This is the final issue. Um, some stuff's going to go down in here. And I really like that Mercado cover right there. I think it's cover B. Excalibur number six. Here's the regular cover. It says uh, the secret of Rogue's Coffin. Reboot. Guardians of the Galaxy number one. The Gods of Olympus key. Dude, this book is going to be hard to get and expensive, this cover. This is the space variant. I'm not sure. It could be a 1 in 200. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But it's going to be really hard to get and expensive. So good luck. You can always get the premiere variant, too, if you want. But this, this will be the hot one. And Ruins of Ravencoff Dracula number one, the Greg Land variant. I like that a lot. I just wanted to call out that cover and that book. And to top it off, we have Web of Venom Good Sum number one. I'm excited for this book. You know, it's got the two kids in there. While Venom's away, the children will play. Dylan Brock and Normie Osborne have survived the trials of absolute carnage. But what's next for the Goblin Child and the Son of Venom? I'm sure there's going to be something in there. And I don't know where the variants are, but I think that's a, that cover's dope. Um, I'm pretty sure that book is going to have something in there. A lot of good books, a lot of hot covers that are going to pick up traction once they come out. So I'm telling you now, if you can get them for cheap, get them. Make sure to stop by for the Friday night auction. It's going to be insane. That's all I have to say about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that sub button, hit that like button, leave me a comment. Love you guys. Good uh, luck hunting today, or next week, sorry. Bye. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to use any of these coupon codes, go ahead. It's all there for you to use and abuse. Please check out this sick video next. And again, please hit that like button, throw a comment down, and please subscribe. Love you guys. Stay sick. See you later.